Britain, Kevin Kemling are row 14. Fred Eriksson will be on row 15 alone because Luke Willemse of Netherlands has withdrawn with a rib injury. Luke Willemse of Netherlands has withdrawn from the entire event with a rib injury. It's the Rotax senior class, therefore the race distance during the heat will be 13 laps. Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. If you're here live with me at Adria Raceway, you'll know that it's a little bit dull, but still great racing conditions. Confirmation not from our screen then that Jonathan Hoggard starts on pole alongside Alex Trombell, Alessandro Trombelli, but Kiko Mizuno on row two is a non-starter. Kiko Mizuno is a non-starter. He was taken to hospital this morning with a leg injury. He's having some more tests in the hospital, but he is not, not thought to be seriously injured, but he will not take his place in this race so Kiko Mizuno on the inside of row two will be a non-starter Jordan Brown Nutley going to have to be careful because if Jordan was to fill in the gap he may well be finding himself penalized for being in the wrong position that can happen so easily The only lady in the race, Yanni Johansson, she's on row 11. She has been struggling a little bit. Um, she had a brake failure in a previous race, so uh, that made it a little bit difficult to drive around this fast circuit here at Adria. Bottom left of your screen, Luke Willemse of Netherlands. Luke Willemse is a non-starter. He's withdrawn from the meeting entirely with a rib injury. Luke Willemse, a non-starter. Kiko Mizuno, a non-starter from row two. Well, we had some great racing in uh, the first of our races this afternoon in the junior class. The seniors served up a tremendous scrap this morning. Alex Fuoco, the winner of Heat 1. Jonathan Hoggard, the winner of Heat 2. Jordan Brown Nutley had a second and a fourth. We don't get Coco Mizuno, who's had a, a third and a fifth, so that's a shame for him. But uh, the fact that he appears to have escaped serious injury is the best news. Here we go. Oh, Jonathan Hoggard, well clear in the lead, but Alessandro Trombelli from the outside of the front row making a good start and I think taking the lead. Alessandro Trombelli taking the lead and uh, it looks like Jordan Brown Nutley having a good start. Alex Fuoco also, I see there, cart number 275. Cart number 284, did I see 286? That would have been Charlie Anderson. But Jonathan Hoggard, winner of the previous race, but in his opening race only came in fifth, so he's looking for a little bit of an improvement from that. So it's surprising how the pole, it's not surprising that the pole man jumps into a lead, but it's often surprising how big a lead the pole sitter can open up on the opening lap. It's six or seven lengths here for Jonathan Hoggard. Let's give you the call over at the end of the opening lap. <coughs> All the time I was calling Jonathan Hoggard, I meant Alessandro Trombelli. So a big, 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 big apology to Alessandro Trombelli fans. Thought I was seeing Jonathan Hoggard at 3.00. It was 3.01, Alessandro Trombelli. Nicholas Sherl in second place. Jordan Brown Nutley third. Felix Varga in fourth place. Alex Fuoco fifth. Scott Simmons sixth, Lars Lamborell seventh, Jonathan Hoggard. Well, we saw Jonathan Hoggard passed by Alessandro Trombelli quite early on. It was just between turns one and two. I was surprised to see that Jonathan Hoggard has dropped as far down as eighth, but he has. Charlie Anderson ninth and Oliver Rasmussen. Sounds a Scandinavian name, but he races under a French license. Oliver Rasmussen is in tenth place. This is the end of the second lap and Alessandro Trombelli has retained his lead. He's got two tenths of a second on Nicholas Sherl. Jordan Brown Nutley still in third place. Alex Fuoco running fourth now. Felix Varga dropped a place to fifth. And change of lead because Nicholas Sherl has taken the 
burden of leading the race from the shoulders of Alessandro Trombelli. So Nicholas Schurl of Austria now taking the lead. Nicholas Schurl driving for Strawberry Racing. And it's touch and go. And now back into the lead was that for Trombelli. Thought they're trying to have a look at the numbers. 301216. Schurl in the lead. <coughs> Trombelli second. Fuoco third. Varje fourth. Hoggard up to fifth. Lars Lamborell running sixth. And a bad lap for Jordan Brown Nutley, who drops down to seventh. Scott Simmons still eighth, Ollie Rasmussen still ninth, and Charlie Anderson still in tenth place. Looking a little bit further down the field, Edo Cohen of uh, Israel right at the bottom end of the top 20 in 20th slot. So, Alessandro Trombelli then holding this narrow advantage. Alessandro Trombelli, cart number 301. Nicholas Schurl, cart number 216. Alex Fuoco coming over to start lap five. And in fact, Alex was in front of Nicholas Sch Schurl there. So again, an apology for not calling that as it happened. Must just tell you the truth and say, I don't have a total view of the circuit from the commentary box. So I'm relying on filling in the gaps on the screen by just weighing up where people are. But there's another change of the lead. Yes, it is. Well, Alex Fuoco and uh, Nicholas Schurl have been in effect threatening to trade places throughout. And there's another change. This is on lap five of 13. Alessandro Trombelli just having uh, lost a, an advantage by mm, fair margin. And you have to say it's a really good move there by Scott Simmons to get himself up. Certainly I saw him go up into fifth and I think he's gone into fourth now. This is the start of lap six. Confirmation that Scott Simmons is in fourth place. Jonathan Hoggard back up to third. It was Lars Lamborello who went through in second place behind race leader Nicholas Schurl. Nicholas Schurl has a good lead at the moment of about 0.78 of a second. The lads who dropped places on that lap were Alessandro Trombelli, as we called, and Alex Fuoco, as I did not call. Trombelli running fifth, Fuoco running sixth now. Jordan Brown Nutley just trying to stop the rot. He's at seventh. Harrison Thomas drives up to eighth. Oliver Rasmussen drops a place to ninth. And Felix Varja of Belgium, who had been as high as seventh or eighth, is now in tenth place. Charlie Anderson dropping right out of the top ten. He's running in... 12th place coming round to start lap seven well there's no change in the top three no change whatsoever in the top three Nicholas Schurl from Lars Lamborell and Jonathan Hoggard but Alessandro Trombelli has driven past Scott Simmons and so has Alex Fuoco so Trombelli fourth Fuoco fifth the Italians Scott Simmons who climbed up to fourth immediately dropping to sixth and in fact Trom uh, Trombelli has moved up to third place now. Alessandro Trombelli up into third place. That at the expense of Jonathan Hoggard. We're at the half race distance. Six and a half laps gone. So into the second half of the race. Jordan Brown Nutley has dropped another place to eighth. He doesn't want to fall any further. Charlie Anderson outside the top ten drops another place. He's now 13th. Race leaders set off on lap eight. And uh, Lars Lamborell is our new leader. Early on lap eight, Lars Lamborell re uh, not retakes the lead. For the first time, the Dutchman gets himself in the lead. Lars Lamborell, cart number 276. And as you can see behind him, Nicholas Shirley immediately looking for a gap. Is there a gap there? It's very frustrating for me to know what is best for you, whether I should stand up and look out of the window or stay with the screen seeing what you're seeing. Now, there was a false move there where an attempt to uh, make a challenge had failed, so that's given Lars Lamborell a bit of a cushion and he's now got a one and a half cart lengths, maybe even two cart lengths as we sweep onto the chicane and onto the home straight. This is for the start of lap number nine. Eight laps gone, five to go. Lars Lamborell leads. Nicholas Schurl in second place. Alessandro Trombelli third. Jonathan Hoggard fourth. And Alex Fuoco completing the top five. 
for his best place of the race and of the day. Harrison Thomas is up to sixth. Scott Simmons is slipping a little bit. He drops to seventh. Jordan Brown Nutley holding station at eighth. Felix Varger ninth. And Javier Gonzalez, the Mexican, is driving into the top ten at number ten. Just outside the top ten, Barke Besler of Turkey. Lap nine then. And the Dutchman still holding off the challenge. There you see him, bottom of your screen, bottom left. Lars Lamborel, cart number 276. Again, I'm tempted to look out of the window rather than at the screen. Lars Lamborel holding the advantage with Alessandro Trombelli having got back. Trombelli takes the lead. Trombelli taking the lead. And so Alessandro Trombelli, who started on the outside of the front row, <laughs> Looking for his best. No, is all oh, and a bit of wheel bang in there. And that's let the third place driver through. Lars Lamborell and Alessandro Trombelli touching. So Nicholas Schurl has gone through into the lead. And that well, was it Lars Lamborell? Lars Lamborell, perhaps, but it couldn't have been. They were the two that were touching. Just trying to equate what we see on screen for those of you watching on screen, which is really what I'm supposed to be doing, commentating to the screen versus looking out the window. I think that was accurately as we've just called it. Yes, indeed. Lars Lamborell and Nicholas Schurl, the one and two. Alex Fuoco, three. Jonathan Hoggard, four. Scott Simmons back up into the top five. And Jordan Brown nutley gaining places from eighth to sixth. Harrison Thomas running seventh. Felix Varger, eighth. Berkai Besler now into the top ten proper at number nine. And Fred Eriksson in tenth place. We're on lap 11 of a really good senior qualifying heat three. Once again, with your indulgence, I'm just taking a pause for a glass of water, or a sip of water, I should say. And the Flying Dutchman, Lars Lamborell, holding on to this narrow advantage. We're starting lap 12. The advantage, I say narrow advantage, it's half a second. The real narrow race is the one between second and third. Second and third, Nicholas Schurl in, third, in second place, Alex Fuoco in third. Remember, Alex Fuoco hasn't finished out of the top two in the previous races. So two laps to go, make it one and a half to go for the race leaders. Lars Lamborell in front of Nicholas Schurl. Alex Fuoco closing up hard in third place. Jonathan Hoggard running fourth, Scott Simmons running fifth. And it's a top running sixth because Jordan Brown Nutley has tagged himself onto the end of that front running six. The last lap board awaits. One to go, one to go, one to go, as Lars Lamborell is being pursued by Nicholas Schurl. We're at turn two on the last lap. Lars Lamborell holding off the strong challenge of Nicholas Schurl. Third place, Alex Fuoco looking to pick up the pieces. Third place would be a good result for Alex Fuoco, but he's not been out of the front two. Jonathan Hoggard in fourth place, just getting a little bit close. Oh, and there's definitely some contact there between two and one. Nicholas Schurl and Lars Lamborell battling it out to the end. It's close. It's between these two for one and two, you would believe, unless they do something silly. Nicholas Schurl trying to hold the geography and does so. It's the drag to the flag from here. And which of them gets the jump? It's Lars Lamborell. Lars Lamborell wins it. Nicholas Schurl second. Alex Fuoco third, Jonathan Hoggard fourth, Scott Simmons fifth, Jordan Brown Nutley sixth, Harrison Thomas seventh, Berkai Besler eighth, Felix Varger ninth, and Fred Eriksson making the top ten at number ten. Good race, some really enjoyable racing. Hope you enjoyed that one. Let's give them time to clear the circuit and I'll give you a full call over without the engine noise as a background. on our graphic that the victory has gone to the Dutchman Lars Lamborell, Austrian driver Nicholas Schurl in second place, Alex from Italy in third, then four Brits in a row, 
Jonathan Hoggard, fourth. Scott Simmons, fifth. Jordan Brown Nutley, sixth. Harrison Thomas, seventh. Berkai Besler was eighth. Felix Varger, ninth. And Fred Erickson completed the top ten. Just looking a little bit further down there. Unlucky for uh, Alex, uh, sorry, Axel Bengtsson of Strawberry Racing going out as did front row starter Alessandro Trombelli. Alessandro Trombelli started on the front row and uh, a real misfortune there. Those at your screen that you can look at and see, 293 taking his helmet off in the Mac 1 race suit is